Hey guys and welcome to my vlog channel. So I'm kind of in the middle of giving it a little bit of a makeover So bear with me here. I'm going to keep the advice videos on this channel. So Basically all of you that have emailed the email that I put in my other channel I'm gonna place it down below here too. It's ask Kaylin Nicholson at hotmail.com So I've gotten quite a few emails and I've emailed some of you guys back But there's a couple of you that have asked for my advice on things and instead of kind of typing it out I figured I would ask them them if it would be okay if I use theirs as an example to kind of start this new series on this channel where you can ask me or for advice and I'll basically give it out and it's kind of something that a lot of people could maybe relate to. This one is going to be about health and bulimia and all that sort of thing so stay tuned if you guys want to hear my advice on this. So I just have my laptop here and I'm going to read the email. It says, Hi Kaylin, I know you get a lot of emails with people trying to talk to you but I really need your help. I'm 17 and watching your Fitness, fitness Friday videos have really inspired me to live a healthier lifestyle, but I have been struggling with bulimia for five years and I find this very difficult. As soon as I tried stopping this awful eating disorder, I gained around 30 pounds and my confidence has been damaged more than it ever has been before. Gaining so much weight in such a small period of time really encourages me to continue having bulimia because I know it will get the weight off fast. But I know there is another solution and I really just need someone's help and advice because I don't really... I don't really tell anyone about this. Recently I've also become vegetarian. I noticed since I'm no longer eating meat, I have eat, I'm eating a lot of bad carbs which isn't helping me either. And when I do eat, I tend to overeat a lot because bulimics have a tendency to go into binge mode a lot of the time. It takes me a lot longer now to realize I am full so this really contributes to me e overeating as well. What do you recommend for me to do? I feel pretty hopeless at this point and my eating habits go from one extreme to another. How can I lose weight fast and repair my health? Do you have any recipes for vegetarians? Let me start off by saying I think the first thing you should do is speak to a professional, obviously. I mean, you've obviously had bulimia for five years, so I'm sure you have gone to a professional by now. And if you haven't, I really recommend that you seek it out. If you don't feel comfortable talking to your parents or your guardian about bulimia, if you're still hiding it, then try and find a gar uh, someone that you look up to, a role model, a teacher at school that you feel comfortable with, even a guidance counselor, anyone that you can speak to that can get you some help because I by all means am no doctor, I am not very well educated on the topic of bulimia, but um, I will do my best to help you with this problem. We definitely have a lot more pressure nowadays to look a certain way. And the thing that, that kind of stood out to me that you said in this email is how can I lose weight fast and repair my health? So the fact that you want to lose weight fast and repair your health, those things don't go hand in hand. If people that are losing weight really fast aren't necessarily or probably not being very healthy. Um, I mean this subject I could go on for days for but if you want to get healthy then you're going to notice that the only way to lose weight and be healthy is losing weight is going to be a little bit more of a slow progress. Sorry I'm going to take this off because I'm really warm. Number one on your priority list is you want to be healthy because I don't care how skinny you are. You could be skin and bones and feel great about yourself but you are also probably not going to live very long because you aren't healthy, like your body needs its nutrition and it needs to be alive and you're basically killing your body to look skinny. So if that's what you want to do then, I mean all power to you, but you're not going to live long enough to enjoy it. Why not do it the healthy way? So the reason why you probably gained that 30 pounds is because you went from barely having any calories or binging and then purging, so you weren't really actually digesting much food, to eating. So your body was in starvation mode and then once you started to eat again it was like oh my gosh I'm getting food let's store everything as fat because I don't know what I'm gonna eat again so basically my best advice for this part is you're gonna have to wait that part out but with, with the 30 pounds that you gained trust me once your body starts to stabilize and realize that you're no longer gonna starve yourself it'll stop holding on to everything as fat and you'll start to flush things out of your system and all the toxins and and you'll start to kind of stabilize your weight so that 30 pounds I know it's gonna hurt your confidence but trust me you are going to feel better now secondly now that you are eating again and you've become vegetarian now that is great but you have to make sure you're eating enough and eating enough of the right things you said you're craving bad carbs 
I highly recommend that you keep healthy carbs around you like bananas and apples and tons of fruit pre-make like your breakfast at night. I like to sometimes if I know I'm having one of those days where I've been having really bad cravings so I'll set myself up for success the next day by making my smoothie at night so that by the time I wake up in the morning I have no questions asked. I have to drink the smoothie because it's already made for me and I drink like a 1.5 liter smoothie every morning for breakfast. So whether you're having smoothies or you're having fruit salad in the morning or you're having oatmeal, just make sure you have it kind of set up for you so that you're ready to eat it the next day so you don't grab for the bad things, right? And then um, other things that you could eat. Potatoes are not bad carbs. I know a lot of people think potatoes are bad carbs. Potatoes aren't bad carbs. Bad carbs would be like white flour, I mean like white bread, white pasta, like all of that stuff, that's kind of more leaning towards bad carbs. So you want to kind of stick towards as simple as possible. So potatoes come from the ground. They aren't made in a factory. I'm sorry, that piggy noise is Bentley's toy. So I'm going to do this in a very touchy way because I know this is a touchy subject for a lot of people, but the thing that you're going to want to watch, and don't obsess over it, but it's going to be your fat intake because you you can eat high carb, high carb, like because I eat really high carb and I've learned this from Freely the Banana Girl. I will leave her like YouTube down below. I'm obsessed with her. Um, if it weren't for her, I wouldn't be on the diet, well lifestyle, I mean, that I am now. I mean, I was kind of co going towards it as, as, as I grew up, I went vegetarian at a young age. I always wanted to help animals and all that sorts. I just wasn't well educated. So go ahead and educate yourself and watch her videos down below. So many things you can watch. But um, she also suffered from anorexia and bulimia before she went high carb raw vegan. And now she's raw till four, which is what I tried to do too. So basically what she basically reiterates is you're going to want to eat high carb because that's how we have our energy and that's how, what makes us happy and low fat because fat is going to be what's going to start to drag, drag you down and stuff. And I mean, you do need to have some fats, but you don't want to have over like 10 to 15 percent of your daily intake coming from fat like your calor caloric intake coming from fat a lot of the stuff I've learned have been from youtubers reading books watching documentaries but you are definitely suffering from something that isn't just all physical some of it is mental and I highly recommend you speak to a doctor but at the same time keep your doors open because some doctors might not believe in something like a high carb raw vegan so maybe go to a nat naturopath which is like a natural doctor or just do your education for yourself i mean that's basically what i did when i didn't want to take my anti anxiety pills and my like my anti anxiety antidepressants i didn't want to take those anymore so instead of listening to my doctor which i mean gosh that sounds terrible but I decided to do some research on my own and that's how I found basically how I'm living now. So I really hope this video helped you guys. Also just keep in mind, I don't care what size you are, nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. Nobody can make you feel ugly without you allowing them or you letting yourself think that you're ugly. So you guys just need to keep in mind that you're beautiful no matter what size you are and that the only thing that's important is for you to be healthy because what's the point of looking one way or looking another way if you're not going to even be alive enough to enjoy like enjoy it because I know even for me when I started to restrict my calorie intake and I got really small I wasn't even fully able to enjoy it because I was so exhausted and I was so grumpy and my moods were all over the place my anxiety was all over the place so honestly this is the best I have felt in like forever like the longest time so I highly highly recommend that you put your health before your looks and just get healthy and I'm trust like I swear on my life like put me to it that your body and your weight will react with you and it'll soon follow and do what you want it to do but you have to feed your body you have to love your body for it to love you back and do the things that you want it to do so I hope this video made sense and I hope this helped you guys if there's anything you guys think I would have missed for this advice video go ahead and leave some more advice down below and um, the lady that emailed me this if I didn't answer all your questions feel free to shoot me another email and I will be sure to kind of reiterate some of the things I said or go into further detail. So be sure to check out the links down below. I'm going to leave some free these videos and such and I will see you guys all in a future um, Ask Me Advice video. Bye!